Welcome YouTuber Collector, this is Anubi009 and today I got to present you uh, a classic uh, Voyager Optimus Prime and yeah this is quite a little bit old toy, this is my friend's uh, toy uh, he get um, two of them First, the first one was the Takara one. The Takara uh, come with the small stacks, but they don't come with the, uh, the connection to make the gun. And the Takara one come with the uh, chrome in the front, and they have more paint than this one. Uh, this one, a second one he get because this one come with the top roof. Okay, it's a shield and a gun and they come with a small stacks very nice and I told him uh, put those parts in the other one and in that way you can have a nice truck and use this one for road mode but for the this video I made him in vehicle mode uh, we're trying to paint this area over here he, he started painted and I trying to finish and yeah the tells is not too bad it look like a little bit weathering over here you know yeah they had the head over there supposed to be the canopy and it's a kind of have more paint job over here and yeah it's very cool I paint this area over here put a little bit of gun metal but I put a little bit of silver and yeah over here the legs I painted silver uh, he start I finished the, the paint job but overall it's a very nice truck uh, this one's supposed to be um, some kind of um, um, kind of like a modern truck I if I see this one before no and they're supposed to have these guards over here and it's supposed to be more aerodynamic and the the trailer Suppose the, the empty areas, you know, supposed to be covered that way the air don't don't restrict the the truck. But yeah, very nice, very nice. And what I buy uh, what I get this one from him is because I get some kind of cool guns from another uh website. You know, and I got to show you this one when we transform this one. Um, let me make comparison between this one and the MP10 Optimus Prime. There we go. Not too bad. You know. Not too bad. That's a good comparison. And let's go and transform this guy and see how cool he look. Well, very quickly, you need to tab this part. You know. There you go. The feet. The cool thing of the feet is when you put it like this, the heels in the back pop out. You know, that's very cool. And let's put here the legs like that. There you go. Let me elevate a little bit the camera. Now we can have a little bit more space okay now we need to untap this areas over here there you go untap that there you go we untap this part too there you go now we can move the problem is these arms are so tight there you go Put this one like that. See, and the fists are over here. There you go. Put it like this for the moment. Move this arm like that. Put the fist. Move the arm. Okay. Now we got to do it with the head. Just move this level over here the head sometimes the head is slightly tricky to push out there you go 
over to the front take this part this whole section collapse and that way you can set up the head like that and this one just move like that there you go now we need to take this front and move it like that and have a couple of clicks because that's going to be the front see my camera focus there you go and take this this bumper move inside like that there you go separate the legs oh push this one up the knee pads now take the arms now like that this this part is supposed to be more in front take this I know that really tight <laughs> and just wrap it around like that okay okay just uh, put this one like that there you go do the same thing with this side <coughs> sorry for my voice now make sure this part is in the front More like that and there we go and we have a very cool Optimus Prime let's see if I can focus him very cool okay very nice very nice toy uh, very nice uh, head skull let me zoom in in also it don't be too blurry in a second let me fix my uh, there you go need to check my camera very nice very nice details you know the head is quite nice there you go yeah I finished painting the legs I know I still need some retouch there you go yeah this is gonna be more for he want to make this one more like a weathering battle damage you know he, he got to finish this guy but it look it look very cool look very cool yeah no they has still has some areas need to be more detailed remember this guy go before for that and I'm zooming out oops sorry for that see my camera focus also the light is not too bright uh, for comparison let's see if I can bring somebody perhaps my mp10 is not transformed but uh, I got to bring Megatron my DX9 Megatron and you see <laughs> a tower this is more like a boy of her class I think it's more like a new class boy hair but the mp10 is like this size I mean yeah but it's still very cool very cool now what I got to show very quickly is the guns I get for this uh, Optimus Prime the company call, calling a uh, shape shape ways and they come with a little baggies and I don't have the bag sorry for that maybe next time <laughs> um, this is gonna be a very short video sorry what I get for him is these guns 
and that company made different accessories for transformers they make in 3d printing and this is a set of two this is a natural black versatile plastic um, it's not bad it's a little bit rough but I like it because he got to trying to make him more weathering you know body damage a little bit it's mean the gun already look like that see like a assault rifle something like that and they come with a small pistol um they say um it's better to put a little bit on a poly this is a five, five millimeter uh, port and i already put a little bit on nail polish and let's see you can put uh the pistol in one hand there you go and put the other pistol in another hand there you go and now he can shoot there you go you can put in different poles they look very cool I like the barrel look very nice has some kind of holes you know and you can put him like in some dynamic pose you know like, uh, we are ready for bottle you know very cool you can do that you can do that making dynamic pose it's mean you know I think he got to like it and you can put one of the guns over here in one of these holes you know but yeah he looked very cool and I think it could be a good uh, accessory if you want then look very cool let's see if I can put him in some area I think it look better yeah and I think this is a very nice uh, details for him if you want uh, these accessories um, I got to leave you the link below for shape ways they have heads but you need to paint it you know they, they, they make it 3d printing and you need to paint it but I got to leave you the link below okay and that way you can find it um, and you know I think it's really cool and this is was a short video about it um, thank you for watching this video I know I don't put videos for a long time I got to make a Facebook account with pictures I maybe got to put in this video or in the next one for the Facebook account if I put it is the link below if I don't I got to put in the next one um, this is all for today and thank you for um, viewing my video about the ship uh, ways um, guns for well, for any toy but the same time I show review of the Voyager classic Voyager uh, Optimus Prime and the cheap ways um, accessories and um, like I always I say uh, link link a sorry for that <clears throat> my voice <clears throat> golly I think it's because in my area I started getting kind of cold um, if you want to see more videos if you want to see more Transformers, you want to see more Star Wars Transformers and sci-fi videos for my collection, you can click the subscribe button, hit the little bell, 
put a like that help me leave a comment and share this video and that's all for today and like I always say enjoy your hobby and play with your toy collection this is Anubis009 and I see you to the next time All right, Autobots, get ready for battle. Let go and free Cybertron. For Cybertron. For freedom. Uh, come on, guys, let go. Why you guys don't want to go? We need to liberate Cybertron, an icon. Uh, fine. That's the one, guys. Want it? Fine. Uh, this is the problem with water with Autobots. Uh, next time. Next time.